Beyond normal hometown pride, it can be genuinely said that Marymount is special in many ways. For example, Marymount has the only elected town crier in the United States. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. On behalf of the good people of the fair village of Marymount, welcome one and all to explore with us the unique features of that special place known as Marymount. Today, Marymount is a thriving suburban community of greater Cincinnati, but it wasn't always so. Once it was a thriving Hopewell Indian village of the Fort Ancient Indian tribe. An Ohio historical marker commemorates the site of the 1878 excavation of an Indian burial ground where the village swimming pools are now located. Many of the artifacts uncovered were removed to the Peabody Museum in Boston when Harvard University archaeologists joined the exploration in 1881. The Indians that lived here were the first farmers in southwestern Ohio and occupied the area around 1450 to 1670. Artifacts from the dig may now be seen in the archives library of the Marymount Preservation Foundation and the Cincinnati Art Museum. In the center of Marymount stands the Ferris House one of the oldest structures to be found in Hamilton County. It was built in 1812 by the pioneer Ferris family. The Ferris and Stites family farms once occupied all of Marymount. I'd like to introduce Millard Rogers, who is director of the Cincinnati Art Museum and president of the Marymount Preservation Foundation. Special Marymount. Indeed, Marymount is special and unique. As the Ohio historical marker at the town square notes, the village earned its place on the National Register of Historic Places because of its role in the International Garden City movement of the 1920s, a concept to improve the quality of life for urban area dwellers. Mary Muhlenberg Emery used her family's fortune to promote good works throughout the greater Cincinnati area but her crowning achievement was the building of the model town of Marymount, dubbed by the architectural community as the National Exemplar. Marymount is pronounced Marymount and was named after Mary Emery's estate in Newport, Rhode Island. After her death in 1927, the family interest in the development of Marymount was carried on by her half-sister, Isabella Hopkins. And today, the Thomas J. Emery Memorial continues support for the village in a number of ways. As early as 1914, Mary Emery started to bring her dream of a model community into reality with the engagement of the renowned town planner, John Nolan. Nolan created the overall concept and then selected 25 architects from around the country to execute it. Dr. John Nolan of Cambridge, Massachusetts was a town planter of international repute. He was involved in more than 400 public planning projects throughout the country. Today's architectural scholars, students of John Nolan's work, consider Marymount a living laboratory for planned communities. Rare newsreel films taken by the Cincinnati Times Star staff for Pathé News give us a feel for the early construction period of the village. Mary Emery gave one simple direction, to construct a self-contained community built in accordance with the best principles of town planning. The April 23, 1923 groundbreaking ceremony took place on Plainville Road in front of the Ferris House. A stone marker now marks the spot. The silver shovel Mary Emery used is displayed in the lobby of the municipal building. The first structure to begin the building of Marymount was the Ferris Church, 
whose name was changed to the Memorial Church. The church's altar cross is made from wood estimated to be over 800 years old. The wood was from the foundation of Lincoln Cathedral in England. Mules and horses were used for much of the heavy work in preparation for construction. The animals were kept at Rest Haven Farm, which was where Mercy Hospital was later built. A number of unique features were included in the designing of the model city, including a central heating plant, which heated the early homes and other structures until 1954. We're indebted to the far-sightedness of the planners for putting the electric and telephone lines underground. This special feature adds much to the beauty of the village today. During the excavation of the basement for Dale Park School, a layer of quicksand was encountered, which, but for quick action, would have consumed the steam shovel. A drain was installed under the quicksand to divert the water from an underlying spring, and construction was completed. The old town center across from the church was the original business section and included Kroger's, Central Trust, Fenton Laundry, Schluter's Dry Goods, a barber shop, and a delicatessen. One could live a little cheaper in those days. Townhouse monthly rents ran $50 to $100. The Garden City concept was first developed in England, primarily by Ebenezer Howard, at such notable towns as Letchworth and Welland Garden City, and then came to America. Today, Marymount is the best example of the concept. The other experiments in the United States having lost much of their original charm through lack of vigilance by their residents. The concept was that all the amenities of a good life would be provided at reasonable costs to be enjoyed by people of ordinary means. Mary Emery was concerned that the citizens of her planned community be given facilities to promote abundant family living. This was the clubhouse for the golf course, which managed to survive until the Great Cincinnati Flood of 1937, when the Little Miami River erupted out of its banks, wiping out the Marymount Golf Course. From the beginning, there has been an extraordinary feeling of community in Marymount. The annual ice cream social dates back to 1930. This picture from the 1936 ice cream social shows children being delighted by the elephants from the Milford-based Robinson's Circus. The first schoolhouse was erected in 1924 at the corner of Beach and Wooster Pike. In 1927, it was moved to the corner of Oak and Maple, where today it is part of the Masonic Lodge building. One of the first teachers was Marie Jordan, wife of Marymount's first mayor, Boyd Jordan. Mrs. Jordan continued teaching Marymount children for 44 years. Today's Boy Scouts building in Dogwood Park was originally the boathouse and faced on a serene lagoon which the community enjoyed for many years. Another unique feature of Marymount's grand plan was the provision for an interdenominational community church. It is the architectural gemstone of the village. Just behind it is the pioneer Ferris family walled cemetery. The oldest tombstone dates to 1822. It is in the English Norman style and resembles Stoke Pogis near Windsor, England, made famous by Gray's Elegy written in a country churchyard. The stone roof of the church came from one of the oldest tithe barns in England, in Tetbury, Gloucestershire, which once belonged to the Cistercian monks of Kingswood Abbey. Tenants brought their rents and tithes in kind to this point for storage. The original roof dates back six centuries to 1300. Mary Emery loved children. She's quoted as having said, is the sun a little brighter there in Marymount? Is the air a little fresher? Is your home a little sweeter? Is your housework somewhat easier? And the children, do you feel safer about them? 
Are their faces a bit ruddier? Are their legs a little sturdier? Do they laugh and play a lot louder in Marymount? Then I am content. Marymount was conceived to be special, and thanks to the many people who have loved this village over the years, it remains special. The Parish Center, opened in 1930, is the home of the church offices, the preschool, Sunday school, and numerous other organizations. It is a classic example of Italian Renaissance architecture with its marble columns, round arches, and tile roof. The community is made up of 333 apartments or townhouses, many of them contained in the historic district and constructed in the 20s by the Marymount Company. There are 1,160 homes in a great variety of sizes. The two main periods of house construction were the 20s and then again in the late 40s following World War II. The Marymount School District encompasses our good neighbors to the east and west, Terrace Park and Fairfax. Our schools have been designated an exemplary system by the U.S. Department of Education. We think altogether fitting for a village known as the National Exemplar. Among the graduates are included an astronaut, a movie star, and a number of National Merit Scholars. The healthy pursuits of tennis, swimming, baseball, and soccer are encouraged and facilitated by attractive, well-maintained facilities. Over 50 acres are devoted to parks. The Marymount Branch Library, stocked with over 30,000 books, provide pleasure for all ages. Marymount has a variety of stores and shops for the convenience of the community, many of which have been here since the early days of the village. An annual Christmas walk and other events are sponsored by the Marymount Business Association. The arrival of Santa Claus with candy canes for the children is a popular event each year. Residents of Marymount and the neighboring towns find it pleasant to shop out of the traffic congestion of shopping centers and where there are no parking meters. The Old Town District is set back one block from Wooster Pike and the newer town square is at the center of the village with streets radiating from this point. Council chambers, the mayor's office, the police and fire departments are all housed in the municipal building at the town square. The quality of fire and police protection ranks among the highest in the state and both departments place a high priority on their educational responsibility with the village's youth. Marymount is also unique and special in its political structure. There are no Democrat or Republican partisans in the local government. Candidates for all elected offices are chosen in neighborhood caucuses under the direction of the old New England style town meeting organization. The Kiwanis Club and the Village Assembly sponsor early and late summer festivities. The Merry Elders and Double Twenties Club cater to the interests of the older citizens. The Town Crier Group provide us with a hometown newspaper. The Marymount Preservation Foundation and the Architectural Review Board help preserve the finest qualities of this village. We believe that family life is enriched by identifying with the community and being personally involved in the affairs of the community, governmental, educational, religious, social, and recreational. The opportunities are here for those who want them. We know of no better place to find all these advantages than Marymount. The village is designated an Ohio tree city. Many of our tree's ancestry goes back to George Washington's Mount Vernon home where Marymount's original tree stock came from. Our 49 Bell Carillon in Dogwood Park is one of the finest in the world. This brief period has allowed us to only touch on the culture of Marymount, of why those of us who live here and love it call it Special Marymount. <laughs>